Greetings, Earthlings, from Space Coop Land. Hey guys, it's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and I have something crazy to show you today that I never thought I would have. What the f is this? What the f- what the sh- what the a- eh? What is this? It's a tiny fixed blade. Um, okay, before we get started, I feel like I- maybe don't look as glitchy as usual. I think I may have figured out what was wrong with the camera, so let me know down in the comments if this is like not as glitchy as usual because I th I turned on a selfie lighting thing and I th I think it's working. I don't know. Um okay. So, I got something in the mail yesterday that is seriously so freaking cool. This is a Space Coop chickadee from Jacob Creates on Instagram. I did not buy this. My absolute love of my life, Jeremy, from Bumblebee EDC, bought this for me and sent it to me without me knowing. And it is a tiny little fixed blade in CTS XHP steel with um, some really cool G10 scales, acid stone wash blade, and the sheath here is carbon fiber with a cool little loop attachment on it. This is tiny. Like, I I mean, it might not look small, but it is literally microscopic, right? So a very cool little fixed blade for EDC. I'm so excited to try it. Uh, for scale reference, we'll bring out the Delica, which is a small knife in my opinion. Um, let's see. Look at how tiny that is. Right? It, I mean, it is really small. So uh, I'll be testing it at some point. Um, I can't yet because I'm doing the Delica right now. But very cool little fixed blade. Uh, all machine done as far as I know. It is just so tiny and cool. The guy is wicked cool to Jacob. Um, he's a really cool guy. So check out his work. Jacob Creates. His name is spelled very strange. It's J-A-K-E-B. So a little unique. But check him out on Instagram. He makes really cool little knives. Like I said, this is the chickadee model. I'll be testing it at some point. Just a tiny little fixed blade. Really cool for EDC. Uh, a lot of thought went into this model for it being so small. I mean, I can tell you right now this is flawless. Like, the execution is flawless. I don't know the performance yet, obviously. But this is one of the, one of the absolutely best executed knives quality wise that I have ever seen. Um, sorry about the stuttering here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such a hard time today. Uh, okay, so we've gone over that. Let's do some updates here. Let's do um, the Delica update week two and the Surefire 8,000 letters EDCL1-T update, okay? Let's do that. So, Delica, not much has changed. Uh, a whole bunch of people said, Erica, loosen the pivot and it will swing closed and it will be so great. So I did and um, it is kind of dropping shut now, which is nice. I I don't know why everyone is saying this is like a great one-handed opening and closing knife because it, it really isn't in my opinion. Like it just spooks me. Even though now I can disengage the back lock and... and Come on, wiggle it shut like that and then do this. And some people were like, oh, you're an idiot. Uh, disengage the lock and then y use a, f use, use your finger to do something like this and then this. Guys, I am a female. I have small hands, so it is not easy for me to extend like elastic and, and do what you what y'all are doing with your fingers, okay? I can't do that. It's not easy. The best way that I have found so far is this, then this, which is spooky to me. Um, let's see. Okay, absolutely loving the tip-down configuration. That is really cool for me. Uh, size and everything is great. It just literally disappears in your pocket. The coating is holding up very well. It's um, fading a little bit, which is bound to happen because I just like use my knife so much. I don't, come on, pick it up. 
Can you guys see how it's kind of fading? That's not like dirt and grime. That's like actual fading of that coating, which is really cool. It seems to fade as opposed to scratch and chip off. I did test that pretty well yesterday. Nicole got a like paracord bracelet thing in the mail that had a fire, like a little flint thing on it. And we were at work and I was like, ooh, this has a 90 degree spine. Why don't I use this closed and use it as a fire striker and see if it's sharp enough to do it? And it was. So I scraped the, the coating off of the fire steel thing and then used uh, like this, this portion right here to strike that. It did not really chip the paint off at all, nor did it dent and chip the blade. Like it's great. Um, and it did work as a very good like scraper. I have been using the tip a lot for picking knots at work. No breakage at all. Um, what else? Edge is great, uh, easy to sharpen. It is holding it, an edge very well. Oh, actually, let me let me grab this. Um, I got something from River's Edge Cutlery the other day. I used, <clears throat> gotcha. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I used this giant weapon here to strop this the other day and it works really well. This is a four-sided strop from River's Edge Cutlery. You start on the black side, then you go to the green, then you go to the blue, then you go to the regular, and it's supposed to like give you a razor edge on your knife, which it did. Uh, it worked very, very well for this. This is pretty dull and I didn't have to sharpen it. I stropped it back up with this progression and it worked really well. You could use this as a weapon to kill people in your house. It is that large and heavy. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, this, this steel is great. I'm still standing by the fact that I think John's crew wear is better. I don't know if it's treated different or... I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know. All I know is that John's seems to hold an edge better than the Spyderco crew wear. Could be heat treat. I don't really know. Uh, but this is great so far. This is great. It's toothy. It holds an edge decent. And um, that tip has not broken yet. And I... And I was a little nervous the other day picking knots with it, but it didn't, it didn't fail. So that's great. I did throw some light or ultralight KPL into the moving parts to see if it would help with the, the action. Um, it seemed to help. That ultralight stuff is super thin, so it just like kind of slipped right in there. Used some on the back lock portion as well. Uh, it, it feels much smoother and it also helped kind of work some of that like dirt and grime out. I just like sat there for a few minutes after I had put it into all the parts and kind of just did this and I could literally see all the dirt and grime working its way out. So that's cool. I can flick it out. So that's a plus. Um, lots of good things to say about this. I literally just really don't enjoy lockbacks. That's like the only problem so far. It's just, I, I just don't like them. I really like the access locks and the comp compression locks and stuff. But yeah, so fantastic so far for everyone asking if they can get one. No, you can't. These were an exclusive. Uh, the only way that you're gonna find these is on eBay right now, probably. But um, yeah, they are not like currently in production. So I am very sorry. Let's talk about the flashlight. Uh, flashlight, flashlight. This thing has risen to the absolute top of my list for all flashlights that I have ever used. The gas pedal switch is so useful. I really like that to get the, um, like, uh, what do I want to call it? For it to stay on, for it to stay on, you turn this, uh, which is cool. The clip is working great. I'm just clipping it into my pocket every single day. If you hear scratching on the floor, it's the cuckoo dogs per usual. Let's just do a little. Yep, so there's Romy playing tug with Kane. Romy is Nicole's dog. They never stop. Um, those are my best dogs right there. Mr. Cakes is always asleep. We got a little nook. She's like, hey mom, what are you doing? Not paying attention to me. Okay, clip. Clip, clip. Very nice. It's Parkerized, so it's picking up some really cool snail trails. Man, this thing just doesn't want to focus ever. But I hope, I hope you can see that. Uh, snail trails. 
it's just a fantastic light, and it's carrying very well for it having such a big bootie. Uh, I, I really like this. Like, this is absolutely my favorite light of all time right now, and yeah, it's just badass, guys. They're just freaking expensive. Very expensive. Um, let's see, is there anything else to talk about? I don't think so. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, I hope you do something fun. Look at these cute little nugs. See, like, if they were only playing all the time during the videos, I wouldn't be so irritated. It's when they start, like, freaking out and fucking barking. It literally makes me want to slice my own head off with an Emerson Mini A100. Um, but when they're playing, they're adorable. Yeah, so... Have a good weekend, guys. I may or may not be doing another video. We'll see. As long as the, like, resolution and stuff of this video is okay, I might do another one. But please let me know if it looks okay. Um, yeah. I think that's it for now. Go use your shit. Go use your shit. Go put some, like, calluses on your hands. Yeah. Go move your body. All right? And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.